I'm here with uh, Andy Bradley, uh, Woody Flowers finalist award winner and uh, coach on Team Pink, uh, the, one of the team members that was just uh, disqualified. Andy, um, how do you feel? Oh, well, obviously disappointed. You know, you work for work, work and work and work and take care of every detail that you can. And to lose this way is very, very disappointing, yeah. you know, for the kids. But uh, not so much for me because I'm here to help the kids, but for them. But yeah, it would be nice to, I mean, if you win, if you go out by losing to it, a better alliance, that's good for them. But right. to go by on a rule violation, but you know, they make the rules for a reason. Yeah. And it's a clear violation. Did. Did you uh, talk with uh, your alliance partners, and did, did you see beforehand uh, that they were violating the rule? Yes. Well, what it was, let me just go back very quickly. The robot had a big collector mechanism on top, their shooter, but it was very heavy. And what, for our alliance, what we were hoping for was a primarily defensive robot that would play good defense, but we didn't want them to tip over. Oh, closer to my mouth, you said. Thank you. <laughs> didn't want them to tip over. So uh, we asked them to take that off and add some ballast to the robot so they'd be a low blocking robot, which they did. Unfortunately, they used robot batteries, okay, which I didn't see in the rules where that's a violation because I don't think it is, but then they went back and re-weighed. But apparently they didn't go back and get an official inspection. And so when they came out in the field and played, we thought, you know, are you inspected? Yeah, we're inspected because the inspector said it was good, but it really was an official inspection. And you're not allowed to change your robot configuration you know, at any time after the final start. Um, and so, because of that, they were disqualified for each of those two matches. And in the finals, if one of your alliance members is disqualified, the entire alliance is disqualified. So it boiled down to, we effectively lost both of our first matches that are knocked out. Yeah. Again, disappointing because we thought we had a really great alliance and we're going to go a long way with it, but it's just really... I, I, do, I do too. You're going to be at South Florida, right? No, actually we're going up north, going to Maryland, uh, going to go visit Washington, D.C. and uh, again, compete up there. We're excited though. Um, you know. It's really, winning and losing for the mentors is one thing. You just want them to perform well and the kids to be excited about it. And that, in that, we've really succeeded. So we're really looking forward to Maryland and then hopefully championship afterwards. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, you are sh giving a good example by, uh, you know, by saying, showing that you're following, following the rules and you're accepting the responsibility. And I have, I've seen quite a few teams come up to you and, you know, they say, you know, they're, they're giving you sympathies right. and stuff. So. You know, uh, the thing of it is, um, as a mentor, you're out here for years and years and you see the same faces every year. You're with them some years, you're against them. You're basically friends who meet up once a year to play robots together. So, you know, in our matches where we beat Danny came in, or the, from the Swamp Thing, thank you, Dave from Tech Tigers, um, everyone, we're all friends. So, you know, you win, you lose, it just happens that way. So it's okay. And in fact, if I were in their position and I knew about this, I believe I'd do the same thing because this is a competition and I'm okay with that. Well, thank, thank you very much for talking with me, and uh, uh, see, see you next time. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>